hello everybody and welcome back to radioactive scale rc and today we're gonna just do a quick short uh build intro video to my next build so as you can see in front of you i've got a bunch of parts and pieces that i finally got everything in stock to start my next build and it's going to be as you can see the enduro uh gatekeeper builders kit so uh, we'll just go through everything that i'm planning on using in this build uh, i've been waiting a long time to get this one on the go i finally got the kit in uh, two or three weeks ago and I'm just now home on holidays for the the Christmas break so I'm going to start doing this build and get some some videos up on the channel and walk through this build uh, with everybody that uh, subscribes to my channel so if you're new to the channel that's great if you're a subscriber I apologize for not getting too much content up but uh, work has gotten in the way and winter is hit in Canada and I travel back and forth from where I work it's a three-hour drive so I'm gone on during the week and back usually on the weekends or every second weekend so it's tough to get some filming done and some content up but uh, hopefully we'll get a few videos up of this build over the holiday period here and uh, more to come hopefully so yeah so we've got the enduro gatekeepers builders kit um, <clears throat> I pretty much have everything to get it done except for a receiver for my radio I haven't picked that up yet uh, I tried to get one before the holidays here but they were out of stock so I'll uh, keep working on getting one of those but it's winter here and there's like two and a half three feet of snow outside so it's not going to be a big big rush to get that done so so we've got the kit of course and and we'll probably do a little bit of a box opening slash go through the part bag video on that also this one I just wanted to do a quick intro and uh, go through the pieces that I've got for it as this is my next build uh, my last one was the RC four-wheel drive Galan Day 2 that uh, I did last year probably at this time or or no maybe January February time frame so it's been a while since I did a build uh, this so this is a new new rig for me so we've got for tires and rims <coughs> pardon me these are Amazon I got these off of Amazon I don't know how well you guys can see them in the package but uh, yeah, I'm going to give these a try. These are off of Amazon. I think I paid $58 Canadian for all four. Uh, I do have a second set that I've got on my SCX-10 3 Gladiator, and they, they seem to be pretty good. So those are the rims that we're going to go with. Uh, beadlock, of course. And the tires I chose were the RC four-wheel drive uh, IROX, so the 1.9. These are a little bit of a larger tire. So these are the ones I went with. Um, hopefully they're going to do what I want it to do. I'm setting it up more as a crawler, not a racer. Not a rock racer, more of a, a trail slash crawler rig. So well, hopefully these will work very pretty well for that. Well, we're going to give them a try. It's the first time I've owned these types of tires. These tires. Uh, ESC, of course the old trusted hobby wing uh, 1080. Uh, I was throwing up in the air doing the 1800kV fusion combo, EC uh, motor combo, but uh, I went with this to start with. We'll see how it does. Uh, I got a different motor for it too than the hack moto that I usually use. Uh, the all racing hack motos i've picked up a different one we'll go we'll see that shortly yeah so going with the 1080 of course uh, i'm starting to get a lot of uh programming cards cards because i use these all the time uh the motor so i i did get the the ready six turn uh five slot uh motor so this is a rebuildable five slot uh it's a 540 a brushed motor um, it does have a KV rating. I can't remember what it is, and I don't think it's on the box. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, yes, 1850 KV brushed motor. So it's a five slot, 16 turn, 1850 KV. I'm sure you guys can probably see that. Uh, I think that was uh, 36 bucks Canadian. I think I paid for that, so not too bad. Pretty nice looking little motor. Uh, we'll give it, we're going to give it a try. This was uh, actually recommended uh, on the kit for this motor. So it's uh, tunable, of course, you can see. Tunable there and rebuildable. So we're going to give that a try, see how that works out. Um, so I'll give you an idea of cost for this build, I guess I should. So that was 30, I think that was $36 Canadian. Um, as I said, the rims were uh, $58 Canadian. 
Uh, I should probably write that down so we have an idea. Let me get a piece of paper here. Get me a piece of paper so I kind of have an idea what this build was. So rims will go $58, 36 for the motor, it was 60 for the ESC, it was 59 something I think for the ESC, but we'll go 60. Uh, along with that, you do not get the uh, pinion gear with the kit, so I chose to go with the uh, Robinson Racing hardened uh, 48 pitch, 18 tooth. Uh, pinion gear so that is the pinion gear and I paid eight dollars I think for that um, so there's a part number on there a one four one eight absolute pinion 18 tooth 48 pitch hardened so that's the pinion we're gonna go with <clears throat> and we'll write that down I believe that was eight bucks I, I don't think it was that expensive uh, I did pick up a uh, three cell, uh, 4300 milliamp, uh, 50C, 11.4 volt, uh, shorty pack for this, and I will not have to put the Deans on it. Uh, these take the shorty packs, so they come with the XT60, and the ESC is already uh, XT60 set too, so we're going to go with that. I won't have to put the Deans onto these. I'm a Deans guy, but we're going to give these XT60s a try. Um, I I think it was $78 I paid for the battery, so we'll go $78. So yeah, they're, they're supposed to be good batteries, 4300 milliamps should be good. I actually got two of them, uh, I bought one at a separate time, but uh, I've, I bought one just for this build. <coughs> Pardon me, I got a tickle in my throat. Um, servo, right now, I again, Amazon, so I got a 20 kg uh, digital servo waterproof it uh, DC is to 4.8 to 6.8 volts is what it can handle um, I I've had luck with these uh, I bought two of them on Amazon for I think it was $44 so 22 bucks each I got a two pack I think it was $44 what I paid I've had good luck with them so we're gonna go with that uh, it's a good price and I, I haven't had any issues with the other ones that I have so we'll do uh, $22 for that. So we got that covered. We got that covered. The kit. The kit I paid $389 Canadian for the kit, I believe it was. Yes, it was $389. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put these on yet, but I did pick up some uh, Desert Lizard internal uh, shocks from Yaw Racing. Uh, these are the 90 mil, I believe. There is a tag on there somewhere. So we've got the 90 mil. It's kind of hard for you guys to see that. There we go. So the 90 mil. Uh, I picked up two packs of those. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with them yet. Uh, I actually was thinking of putting them on a, on my uh, Galande too. But I thought, well, they might go good on the Enduro. So I did pick up two of those. And they were $34 a piece. So $68. So that is all the parts that I have for this build. We'll do a quick tally here. Uh, where's my mouse? And we'll bring up my calculator because I'm slow at adding. Um, and we will add this up. So we'll do 58, 36, and 60, and 8. We're just doing this to compare for the RTR kit here in Canada to see what the difference is. So 8, and 78 and 22 and 389 and $68 so we have a grand total of 700 and 719 dollars so it's a lot more than going the RTR in Canada I can get the RTR for just give me two seconds and I'll tell you because I actually have my hobby shop site open uh, and I know it's in here the RTR is 499 so 500 bucks so 219 dollars more to do the kit version and buying the pieces that I wanted to buy to put in it. So a little bit more, 200 bucks, but I'm okay with that. I prefer the kit versions and uh, over the RTRs if I can. Uh, one, it, it, I get to build it my way and paint it my way. 
I uh, haven't decided on the paint scheme yet, but I'm, I'm thinking about what I want to do. It'll probably be a couple combination colors. I, I'm not a big stripe guy and do stripes and stuff. I, I don't mind combining colors and fade, doing fades and stuff with the airbrush. But uh, So I haven't decided yet, but there'll be definitely some green in there because it, it is an element. An element is gray and green themed, so it will be that. So yeah, so I just thought I'd do a quick uh, intro to this build and, and the pieces that I gathered for the build and uh, we'll get to it hopefully here in the next day or two and uh, I'll start putting up as many videos as I can uh, during the holidays here of this build and until we get it done and hopefully get it out in the spring uh, onto the trail so we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll go through the build together and here we go again so another build hopefully I don't have any issues like I did with the Galande 2 where I had to wait for a door hinge to come that took like three weeks four weeks I had a bent door hinge. I couldn't finish that on time, but I did get it done in time for RC scale day, RC four wheel drive scale day, which was nice. But uh, yeah, so thanks everyone for uh, subscribing and, and watching my videos. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and give a like, give a thumbs up. Uh, definitely uh, hit that bell so you are notified when I put up future content. And uh, we'll see you at the next one when we start the build on the Element uh, Gladiator Builders Kit. Sorry, not Gladiator, the Gatekeeper's Builder's Kit. All right, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you at the next one. Everybody stay safe. Cheers.